Hi, this vlog is about accommodation in France and in European countries. So most of the students, when they go abroad, they have a huge doubt related to accommodation in Europe. Where would they live? How would they eat? Where would they cook? Would it be uh, expensive or not? Would it be sharing or not? So let me give you a quick look of a hostel in south of France which uh, it could probably give you an impression of accommodations in Europe. Now first of all there are several accommodations in Europe. Number one it could be a shared accommodation, it could be a rented accommodation, it could be Airbnb, a hotel or a hostel. Most of the students they prefer hostel and we recommend hostels as well. Right now I am in such a hostel for Kedge Business School in south of France, Marseille and I'm going to give you a glimpse of it. Be uh, very sure that you know there would be several other options as well but I'm going to give you a glimpse of the closest campus accommodation at Catch Business School so bear with me it's very sunny all right so this is how it looks and you don't have to look at my face or I wouldn't probably uh, push my face I would just show you how a hostel looks so this is how it looks like and uh, I'll give you a quick uh, brief of the alley so this is uh, a hostel life and this is how it looks like so I don't know if you can see properly or not but so these are the rooms well equipped with Wi-Fi fire extinguisher uh, notice boards so look at this so no rubbish in the laundry in common toilets in the common bathrooms in the corridors uh, there is a cafe club uh, it's like a mini uh, school where you have all the information. They have nice views. And there are several rooms on each and every floor. For example, there is Salle Television, wherein you can go and watch TV, right? So I'm not really sure if you're enjoying this video, but the purpose of this video is to give you a glimpse of hostel accommodation for Indian or international students in Europe. And this is a great view. So if you look carefully and closely, you'll see mountains and greenery. Now let me tell you that right beside these mountains, uh, there is Mediterranean Sea, which is beautiful to watch, uh, turquoise blue water. And let me just give you a little more glimpse of this place. This is how it looks like. Hey. So I'll, I'll, I'll just give you a quick trivia. When I was here three years, probably four years ago, I was on this floor and I was in this room. Now this is a very nostalgic feeling for me. Room number H237 was my room and I lived here for almost a year. It was uh, wonderful to be here with international students. Uh, back then, there were not many Indian students, but today, uh, due to decline in uh, international students and applications in the US and UK, a lot many Indian students are choosing Europe because of liberal visa policies and English programs, and of course, low, co uh, low cost. Let me show you the view outside. So if you look, see, you have greenery, you have mountains, and it's very peaceful and calm. All right, so ciao my room. This is where I uh, lived for a year. This is where I uh, grew as a person. This is where I pursued my masters. This is where I made my uh, international friends. There were people from Morocco, Spain, uh, America, UK, uh, Australia, many other countries. And uh, so just to give you the, uh, uh, a summary of facilities, you have uh, a kitchen on every floor where you have several burners where you can cook your food, you can bring your items from India. Uh, you have free Wi-Fi which is very very fast, very good. Uh, you have a common TV room, you have a playground outside where you can play tennis, badminton, whatever you want. Badminton I wouldn't suggest because it's too windy in Marseille, usually uh, at the places which are close to sea. Uh, there is a security, I mean, I mean it's highly secure uh, because you have guards, you have a vigilance system, you have security cameras, you have smoke, uh, I don't know what, what do you call it? smoke machines, <laughs> I don't know, uh, but uh, so it's, it's a very, very safe and secure place. Apart from that, uh, you have heaters everywhere 
on each floor in every room. You have a refrigerator inside, you have a table, you have a chair, you have a wardrobe, you have a bed, uh, you have technically everything. Now what about the price of these accommodations? Average price for a student accommodation in France or Europe, depending on the country of course and the city of course, would be around 400 to 600 euros. So the room where I was living four years ago, the price was 392 euros, very close to 25, 28,000 Indian rupees. Today, it's 392 euros. So I am glad and you should be glad that it hasn't increased much, number one. Number two, my room was around 15 meters square. If you wanna go for a studio, uh, it would be around, let's say, 500 euros or something. But here is the key part which I wanna tell you. Just bear with me for a second. The important part of studying in France is that government of France spends around 6% of their global GDP uh, on education. And that's why education is less expensive in France, not just for French, but international students. And number two, they also take care of your accommodation. For example, uh, there are scholarships which uh, might help you to have almost free accommodation, but scholarships are very limited for certain students. For all those students who do not secure a scholarship or probably unlucky or unfortunate, uh, they are able to apply for something called CAF, which most of the students who are in touch with advisory, they already know. But my point is, French government reimburses up to 40% of your accommodation. So let's say if your uh, rent is around 400 euros, 40% 40 would be around 150 to 160 euros. To be precise, 160. Uh, students usually get around 150 euros as a reimbursement. So technically you're only paying 250 euros. That makes France cheapest. I don't like the word cheapest. The most affordable and inexpensive destination to study. I hope this video gives you a quick and clear impression of accommodations in France, in Western Europe. Of course, different countries would have different procedures, different kind of accommodation, different kind of prices, but I'm sure you would have a basic understanding now. All right. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook, email, WhatsApp, whatever way you want to connect with us. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll be coming up with more such topics in uh, coming days until the time we are in France. And have a good day. Stay warm. Take care.